and uh, welcome back to Poetry Lockdown. We are at uh, day 359 by my count, which means uh, it's been almost a year since I started this, uh, this crazy web series. Um, thanks for participating in it uh, through comment or viewing or however that's been. Uh, it's really, it's been amazing being able to connect with so many people through this series. So I appreciate you tuning in. Um, so I've been reading recently this terrific anthology uh, by Kevin Young, uh, edited by Kevin Young, called The Art of Losing, uh, Poems of Grief and Healing. Um, that's what this poem from Elizabeth Alexanderson, but it's, it's, it's a really terrific anthology. I recommend it to anybody. I think I'm going to honestly sample a couple poems from that collection as, as we near almost a year since, um, you know, the, the pandemic locked down uh, my particular city in Minneapolis. Um, just because I, yeah, I think processing grief and, and poems that really honor loved ones that we are really important right, as we as we take stock like a year in to this. Um, so Elizabeth Alexander, uh, amazing poet. Um, I think I featured her inauguration day poem for Obama's first inauguration, praise song for the day. Um, this is a really beautiful uh, poem honoring uh, a lost loved one. So. With that intro, I'll, I'll just read the poem and then talk about why I love it. Autumn Passage by Elizabeth Alexander On suffering, which is real. On the mouth that never closes the air that dries the mouth. On the miraculous dying body, its greens and purples. On the beauty of hair itself. On the dazzling toddler, like eggplant, he says when you say vegetable, chrysanthemum to flower. On his grandmother's suffering, larger than vanished skyscrapers, September zucchini, other things too big. For her glory that goes along with it, glory of grown children's vigil, communal fealty, glory of the body that operates even as it falls apart. The body that can no longer even make fever, but nonetheless burns florid and bright and magnificent as it dims, as it shrinks, as it turns to something else. Yeah, that poem gave me chills when I first read it to myself. It gives me chills now reading it aloud. Um, uh, I love it for reasons. I think one of the things that I, as a poet, don't pay enough attention to when I write poems, and I'm starting to pay more attention to when I read them, is the power of a good title. This title is amazing. Uh, it does so much at once. Um, Autumn Passage. Uh, you know, you, you think about passage in kind of like a literary sense, and it's like, oh, we read this passage of a poem or a passage of a book or something like that. So it's got that sort of like writing type definition. Um, but obviously here, there's like a, a deep double meaning where we've got the passage of a loved one, this grandmother and mother um, from life into death. Um, and so the whole poem kind of has this like, just, yeah, this like incredible layering uh, of, of meditation and what that would mean. Um, so I just love that. And I also love that in, in those layers you have, the child, uh, the child's grandmother and the mother to the, the poetic speaker, that they're all part of this poem and this, this passage uh, from life into death. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's incredible. And it's, it happens in just, it's just a short space of time. So I don't know. I really recommend just spending some time with this poet and this poem. Um, it's incredibly moving. So thank you, Elizabeth Alexander, for this beautiful poem. Um, thanks for tuning in. I hope you have a good uh, rest of your week and weekend. Peace.